Hey everybody, it's Al with Bobcad. So today I wanted to start a project that will mirror the Model Mania file from SolidWorks 2012, uh, showing you the workflow to create uh, this part within Bobcad and the steps that you would go through. So uh, in this video, we're gonna go through wireframe creation for the, uh, the top view of the part and some of the steps that you would take and some tricks that you might find useful, especially when trying to fill it between fillets uh, or circles. So the first thing I'm gonna do is create a new layer. This is gonna be top view wire frame. And then I'm gonna change my active color to yellow, okay? And I'll make this layer active. Now from here, I wanna draw some circles. So I'm gonna start with arc coordinate and the radius of this one is seven and it's located at zero, zero. Oh, hold on a second. I gotta stop what I'm doing because the part is in metric. So let me just go ahead and close this file, create a new one, go to preferences, setting part, units, millimeters. We'll change this to yellow and then we'll create a top view wire frame. Okay, so then we'll go arc coordinates. This is seven and on center. Okay, so there's our first circle. Now we want to draw some more circles, so we're going to go arc coordinates. Uh, the first one I'm going to do is 100 millimeters over an X, and then it's going to be minus 30 in Y, and then the radius value is going to be 9. Uh, no, okay. There we go. So there's that one. Now the one right next to it is gonna be minus 24 millimeters. So that gives us the next one and we'll go ahead and cancel out of that. So here are our first three uh, arcs. Now what I wanna do from here is I have to add some circles to these two. So I'm gonna use arc snap. This is a radius of nine. I'm gonna shift left click on this circle shift left click on this circle and grab the center points all right so that gives me these profiles now from here we're gonna do a, a radius that goes between here and here we're gonna do a radius that goes between here and here and then there's another radius that goes back in this direction so to kind of uh, show you some of the problems that you can have when doing fillets is if you go to arc and fill it and this is gonna be a hundred or, no, I'm sorry, this is 50. And we try to go from here to here. You're gonna see that it's not going where we want it to go. We want it to go from down here up over to here, okay? And it auto creates and previews, but you can see we're not getting what we want, okay? So the trick to this is to break the arc so we can say to go from here to here. So we'll go to utilities, break, divide we're going to break this into four pieces we'll do this one this one and this one space bar and now we've broken those arcs into four pieces and you can see one two three four okay so now when we try to do this fillet we can do arc fillet and we can say go from here and then we want it to go down to this one here and now you can see we're able to create that fillet now I'm gonna go ahead and just delete this section of the radius. So now we have a nice fillet going from there to there. Now we need another fillet going from here to here. So we're gonna do arc fillet. This one is 15. So we're gonna say this side to this side. Again, we're, we're running into the same type of scenario where when we click on this edge and this edge, we're not seeing what we want, okay? So what we're gonna do is actually just get rid of this section and this section here and then we can do arc fillet and go from there to there and that gives us our nice swooping uh, radius like we wanted. Now this top of the radius, we don't need this anymore and even this section over here we can delete out, okay? So now, I'll delete out this section too. Now we need to do a radius from here to this section here. Now, I don't know the arc center, I just know the radius amount and I know that there's a, a horizontal line that comes across here. So what I'm gonna do is line continuous sketch, uh, line continuous uh, horizontal vertical. I'm gonna grab this snap point here and I'm gonna pull out a line, okay? And then now I'm gonna do arc fillet. This is 100 and we're gonna go 
from here to here and you can see how it will trim and meet that line appropriately okay so now we have a nice uh, sweeping profile uh, we have our inside radiuses and really for this view we would be done I just want to shift click make sure everything chains up okay another thing I can do is reorganize clean up and optimize uh, we did break some arcs so we want to make sure that it's nice and cleaned up and we have uh, good working geometry uh, as we move forward in our design process so in the next video what we'll do is look at the uh, front view and create that wireframe and then once we have both our top and our front wireframe done then we'll go through the steps to create the solid based off of the wireframe alright guys we'll see you in the next video